I don't walk as fast as the tall Governor Sununu does, so. Merrill family, all of you uh, friends of Steve Merrill, friends of New Hampshire who are here today, I feel obliged to tell you that I don't intend to be downbeat, I intend to be upbeat today. I really think that's the way Steve would have wanted it. You know, we all have a style, we all have a persona, we all have a way of doing things. And Steve Merrill certainly fit that mold. I see a lot of gray hair here today, so some of you will remember that when I got elected governor in 1982, I was supposed to lose big. So when I got elected, I really wasn't prepared to do what one has to do to move into that corner office. And I quickly found out that one of the things I better do quickly was to get a legal counsel so that we could at least uh, deal with the requisite requirements of the process. I absolutely had no idea who to pick. So I went to Norm Stahl, who was a senior partner at Divine Millimet, and I asked him for a recommendation. And Norm says, well, you know, there's a young lawyer here. He's been out of the Air Force a few years. He, he served uh, as a lawyer in the Air Force, and he's been with our firm, and, and he's got a lot of energy. You ought to talk to him. So I made an appointment with this young lawyer, and, and in those days, the transition was uh, a little bit awkward. I think they gave us one small office in the first floor here to handle the process. And so Steve and I met in that office. And I started talking to him about the fact that neither one of us knew what we were going to be doing if we ended up doing what we thought we were going to do. And I found out very quickly that Steve Merrill was a serious person on serious issues who didn't take himself too seriously. And that, for me, was the ideal combination. I don't remember much of what we talked about today. I don't remember much of the specific words of the conversation with Steve Merrill. But I remember we laughed a lot. And that, for me, was sort of the closing argument. I went through the motions of telling him, well, let me sleep on this, and I'll get in touch with you. The first thing I did the next morning was to call him up and offer him the job. And the first thing he did on the phone after I did is immediately accept. And that was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. We dealt with ser serious issues. We were determined at the time to change a lot of the ways New Hampshire used to do business. And I needed somebody who was smart legally to keep me from getting into too much trouble as governor. I needed somebody who thought outside of the box. But more than, more than anything else, I really did need somebody who wanted to go through all of that and have fun in the process. Steve Merrill was the ideal choice. We changed the way the state plans for highways. We, we rebuilt most of the capital assets in the state. Uh, we, we changed the structure of government to a great extent. And we put the state on a sound accounting basis by being the first state in the country to go on gap. All of that required a lawyerly input so that we could accomplish it in a constructive way. And Steve Merrill was the one that guided that process. I think you're going to hear from a couple of other folks today that will talk a little bit about Steve coining the phrase, New Hampshire's advantage, the New Hampshire advantage. 
It's a phrase he used, but he used it understanding that it was more than just talking about the tax structure of the state. Steve Merrill knew it was more than just talking about our commitment to local control. He knew it was more than our commitment to small government. He understood that the fundamental New Hampshire advantage was really inherent in our state motto, live free or die. He understood that the fundamental New Hampshire advantage is our commitment to freedom, liberty, and the rights of the individual. He not only put that into practice as my legal counsel, not only put it into practice as attorney general for me, but after Judd Gregg's four years, he put it into practice as governor of the state of New Hampshire. Steve believed in those principles. He made sure they were part and parcel of policy. He made sure they were part and par parcel of politics. Steve Merrill was a great lawyer. Steve Merrill was a great public servant. Steve Merrill was a great friend. We truly shall miss him. <laughs>